The New York Times is reporting that a bill currently before the Senate does nothing to make the so-called too-big-to-fail banks any smaller. Instead, the bill proposes rules to compel banks to hold more capital and make banks fail safe. Is it smart to continue with the giant banks as they are? Here are Pig and Sheep with their thoughts. You old bombinists are all alike. Take from the rich and give to the poor. Where do you think all those rich banks got all their money in the first place? From lending it to poor people so they could live beyond their means, of course. That's the American way. That's capitalism, and it works, baby. Woo! Wait, what the hell did he just say? Look, the 1994 repeal of the Bank Holding Company Act of 1956, as well as subsequent legislation, allowed these banks to get to be too big to fail in the first place. Regulation already existed, which kept the banks and the risks they could assume manageable. Idiot politicians removed the regulation, and the economy self-destructed. Break up the banks, restore the regulation, and bring back customer-focused banking. Anything else is an ineffective half-measure. That's what Pig and Sheep think. What are your thoughts? Email them to ovcomments at newsundies.com.